Hey everybody, and uh, welcome to tonight's Astro Vlog. And tonight I have the Edge HD set up with the Z6. I'm using a Orion Star Shoot Auto Guider to guide. It's not the greatest guider in this setup with an OAG, but it's what I got, it's what I'm using. Tonight we're gonna be imaging in this direction, and we're going for the Leo triplet. So you might be wondering what I'm using to light myself, and I'm not even sure, yeah, this is at, this is at maximum power. Um, it obviously, it dims. Ooh, so much dimming, actually. It dims a bit, but it tends to be pretty bright, but you know, cool. And one of the reasons I'm using this light stick is because while it's pointing at me, obviously there's a lot of light. Um, it allows me to sort of talk to you and you can see, whereas normally I'm using it in sort of this capacity and in this capacity, I'm able to see in the dark and I've not ruined my night vision, except for I just shined this in my face two seconds ago. But normally I don't ruin my night vision. So Leo is up there. I'm gonna find the triplet. It's finally above the trees. I have the scope all set up and aligned and I'm running Backyard Nikon off my laptop here. Woo, laptop, which is sitting on the pier. Eventually I will install. It's a long story, but basically I have a pier and I have a tripod and currently the camera's sitting on the here and the mount is sitting on the tripod. Hopefully something I'm going to fix in the spring once the ground has thawed, but that's basically it. So I'm probably very dark right now, but this is enough light. I can see everything. I can hopefully see me in the film, but this is not ruining my night vision at all, despite the fact that I'm actually looking at a monitor here. And this monitor is kind of ruining my night vision. Um, I do have an app called Night Vision, K-N-I-G-H-T, as in like night in shining armor. It works pretty well, however, I found that my laptop screen, again, my laptop's pretty old, is starting to have issues where it's not super happy with all the RGB. So I don't 100% trust the color on this laptop anymore, but for using it out here at night, not a problem. And right now I have stars in the guider, which is good. And now I'm gonna see what I actually am pointing at. And I might open Stellarium and do some star hopping. Now, I set up to sort of play hunt and find it. I don't have GoTo on my mount. It is a Lozmandy GM8, but it's an older version. No GoTo, no fancy side reel or anything like that. Basically, this is a push to mount and it's what I've been using and it works really well except for when I'm trying to find things. What a shocker. So, I'm gonna play around with this and see if I can find it and hopefully this is gonna be enough light that you can see me and I'm not blinding myself completely because basically I'm just gonna fast speed the rest of this. So it's currently 2 a.m. in the morning. Um, I just swapped out the battery for the Nikon because it had run out. Fortunately, I do bring a spare. Still imaging the Leo triplet. Uh, the mount looks like we still have about another 30 minutes before I have to stop it from hitting the, the tripod pier. And at which point I'll grab a few extra little targets for the night since it's clear and I'm up this late. I might as well go for it. And uh, yeah, see how things are going. So I didn't charge the battery from yesterday night because I thought, well, it's it's a pretty big little battery, um, lithium ion. I'll, I'll throw a picture in here of it. And I thought, no, no, it's probably good for a couple, like for at least a night, two nights, three nights. Apparently it's not. <laughs> it is currently, what time is it right now? It is currently 2.15 in the morning and uh, the battery just died. So that means I lost my dew heater for the main scope here. This dew heater is going to shut down. And it also means that I lost the mount power, so it's no longer guiding. Um, which kind of makes it kind of useless at this point. <laughs> Oops. Anyhow, um, yeah, so that's uh, 
I'm going to process the images and see what I get, but uh, I think I've had a very good night, other than uh, I was kind of hoping that I could run for another two hours, but apparently I can't. Um, yeah. Oh well. Hey everyone, so we're back here in the studio to look at the photos, and I ran to a little bit of a technical boo-boo. Remember that part of the video where I was like, Hey, here, look at my laptop. Yeah, when I lifted it up, I actually pulled the power cord out of it, which meant that when I closed the lid, it actually went to sleep. So instead of getting four hours of footage, I only got four minutes, well, four and a half minutes. So here are the photos that I actually ended up getting out of four and a half minutes, and I had to go out and actually redo this shoot the next night. So instead of getting about six to eight hours worth of footage, so I ended up getting about three hours of footage, which you can see here in this picture, and Overall, turned out relatively well, but it was a second night. So this is a really important thing for like astronomers always. Double check that all your cables are good before you let your system run for the re remainder of the evening. Lesson is learned, but it would have been nice to have a little bit more data for this target. However, I did enjoy imaging it and everything seemed to work pretty well. I'm still dealing with a guide camera issue and I suspect that my ST4 cable might be a little bit jiggy as well. That's life and uh, I'm quite happy with this image and we're gonna move onward to the next project. So that's it for this astro vlog. I really enjoyed imaging the Leo triplet twice. Glad I didn't have to do it three times. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the video, if you liked the observatory section and uh, please consider liking and subscribing. It tells me you want more of this content. And thank you for watching.